Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at some Perry Miniatures American Civil War Union Infantry in sack coat skirmishing. Okay, so we're going to start with the, the unboxing. So um, here's the actual box itself. Quite nice. Nice artwork again. It tells you exactly how many figures you've got. Cool little pose of someone reloading and kneeling down. Uh, yeah, everything you kind of need to know. Obviously, what years are involved, what years these are kind of based on, which is the entire war. Which is cool. Okay. <clears throat> Might do is just lift this up slightly if I can. There we go. Did it wobbly? Okay, so let's get this stuff, let's get the important stuff out of the way, and get on with this stuff. Okay, so a bit like um, on my previous video uh, about the Union Infantry unboxing, we've got the same same leaflet in here. Leaflet, uh, information sheet. So it's got kind of lots of different little um, regiments you can have a look at, just for maybe ideas, inspiration for painting schemes. Um, really nice though, it's all, all Perry stuff is, it's awesome. And you've got some flags there if you want to use them, so these are the right size if you want to use them for Perry's, you just cut them out. Um, and then on the back here, you've got all your division um, and core badges. If you want to go in and do that with your your models, that's well, you've got the information here, so really useful actually. Um, just adds a bit, maybe a bit more character to your to your regiments or your miniatures if you just want to add it, rather than just being all the same in their blue, dark blue tops and stuff. Um, and yeah, you can kind of see when these badges were first adopted, which is cool. So yeah, really useful little information sheet. All of the Perry's kits have these really good information sheets on them, so fair enough. Um, and this is kind of the bases you get supplied with it. So this is new to the other box sets they do. Um, they're actually skirmish bases, which makes sense because this is a skirmishing kit, rather than your rank and file bases you normally get. So yeah, nice, nice size base. Um, do you know what I probably ought to do? These look like 21 mils, a bit like pennies, but we'll uh, quickly measure it. Uh, yeah, it's about tw 20 mil, if you can read that, if you can see that. About 20 mil, which is perfect. Um, for me, anyway, I like that size of base. Some of you might want to go to 25s for skirmishes. So. Um, but yeah, you get enough. Um, I won't do quick mass. Um, okay, I'll do it anyway. No, I can't be able to do it. So there's enough There's enough skirmish bases there for your, for your whole box set and probably spares. Um, I personally don't use them, so I won't be. I'll put them aside. Um, right, let's start then. So there's a couple of different types of sprue in here. So let's start off. Right, so these sprues are all the same. These are um, skirmish sprues. So what I noticed after unboxing this quickly is that these are the same sprues as your standard Union Infantry box set. You just have a different layout. You have more skirmish sprues rather than your infantry sprues. So um, exactly the same sprues by the looks of it. Uh, we might notice it be a bit different once we get into it. I would I would have thought they are the same. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look at this. So this is your skirmish sprue. You got three chaps here. Um, really nice bodies. Really nice sculpts of Perry's as always. I was saying on the previous videos, I'll say it again, these are distinctively um, Union Infantry. I know they're a Union Infantry box set, but there's a lot more um, distinctive Union bits with them rather than the Universal box set you can buy all the Confederates. So you'll kind of have the little chest buckle on these and then your buckle on your ammo pouch, which makes it a bit more, a bit more obvious. So yeah, you've got a good option for hats as well. You've got some kepis, some slouches, and then you've got three gun arms, with a choice of arms just to change it up slightly from reloading to reach into your pack to ramrod in the, the shot to actually aiming and shooting so okay so that's your three on that sprue and then you get um, eight of them so nice that's going to be what 24 if we quickly think about it that's 24 plus 10 yeah okay so 24 skirmishes which is nice um, and then we come to this other sprue here. You've got two of these, um, which is just your standard infantry line infantry from the Union infantry box set. So it's all the same sprues, just you get more skirmishes in this rather than the line. So we'll have a look here. Really nice sculpts again for the, the actual infantry. 
Um, I just built up an infant, a Uni Infantry box set, and I did really enjoy it. I really like these kits anyway. Um, they're just so impressive when you've got them all ranked up. Okay, so bodies are nice. Here's your arm options. You've got arms for the charge. So rifles out, uh, muskets out, bayonet ready to charge. I guess they could be rifles, I don't know. And then you've got these at march. So they're over the one shoulder. And then in slung in here, you do have a reloading arm and a... Um, another, re yeah, so both reloading, sorry, reloading guns as well. So you can use these chaps for reloading as well if you want to have more of a firing line rather than marching. But you only have two options on this sprue. So you will have to have some marching. Um, and then you've got your options of slouch hats. You have got a actual hairpiece if you want some one of your soldiers not to have a hat on. And you've got a row of kepis as well. And plenty of arm options to kind of play around with, which is nice. Okay, so... Like I said that's two sprues, so so far we're up to 34 with those skirmishers. And then it's your last sprue here, which is a command sprue, and that makes it to your 38. And that's what you get in the box. Okay, so command sprue. Again, same sprue as the Union Infantry box set. Um, we've got a chap here. This is going to look like your officer, as well as a couple more on the end here. This is your, your drummer. What I did on the other box set, I used these two chaps here on the ends for my... Flag bearers, a drummer, and an officer. Um, you could probably change it up a bit if you want, but what I wanted was um, two, two flagmen, so that's what I did. Okay, so you've got your two flag arms. Um, really nice detail on these flag arms. You can see here you've got your sar sergeant stripes, which is awesome. So you've got your sergeants holding the banner, and it's the same on this, this flag as well, as you can see. I'll quickly show you the backs. These, infant, these soldiers. Really nice detail as always. Um, nice drum. And then yeah, you've got the option of kepis, slouch hats, um, and lots of different arm variations. For the officer, you can have the sword, the pistol, pointing arm, or waving arm. You can have a bugler if you want. Lots of nice options on this kit. Okay, so that's the sprues. What I'm going to do now is build up some, and I'll come back once I'm done. Okay, so these are all built up now. <clears throat> um, I'll just show you what I've done. So I've got all the skirmishes. I've built what I've built a firing line here, and um, this is with the command as well. So that's twenty-four men. Um, I've got two units of three or, or two three-man groups um, just for skirmishing. And then what spare line infantry I had, I just built up in marching poses. Um, <clears throat> I should technically have two more in here, but I've actually put them in the line and given them a skirmishing um, pose. So these chaps are just standard marching, they're the same as the the Union marching chaps in my other unboxing video. Um, and then we've got these more skirmishes. Again, these are exactly the same skirmish uh, sprues. So no, nothing really new here, just, just some different poses maybe, or maybe I've posed them in a slightly different way. You can have a lot of fun with these poses, there's a lot to do, there's a lot you can do. Um, so yeah, with this back line here, this is just a um, firing line using all the skirmishers. This is just one of the officers I decided to build up. It's got this revolver up because this is a bit more of a firing line rather than a marching line. Maybe they just posed in a way that looks like they're slogging it out, firing at each other. So I thought I'd give my officer a bit more of a combat look rather than a ordering of troops look he's actually fighting himself um i've given these guys a bugler as well just for why not as well as a drummer a drummer boy as well as some flags so i said i'm use these uh sergeant stripes on these flags which is quite cool Um, I'll just show you some more of these skirmishes. I say they're exactly the same sprues as the Union box set. However, these are just a bit more. Um, you got a few more skirmish sprues in this set, a little less line infantry. So, but the line line infantry are still quite nice. And you got the option. So. 
Depends how you're buying it, but you could just buy this box set purely to use as loads of skirmishers, or you can make a, a firing line group like I've done here, as well as some um, standard line. So, I'll just show a few more off and then I'll call it there, but it's really nice, Perry's in general, really nice stuff, so um, I'd highly recommend these guys. You just have quite a lot of fun with them, and uh, it looks awesome. What I have done on one of these chaps, I'll show you now, is, um, here he is. So you've got these bodies which are the same, but what I've done is just cut his cup off. Um, you might want to do that if you've got loads of these chaps in here when they've all got that mug. It makes them look quite um, similar. So to change it up a bit, you might just want to cut a few of those mugs off here and there, or maybe glue, cut them off and save them and glue them to, a, to another body. So, um, yep. I'll call the video there. I hope this video has been um, useful. I'd highly recommend this kit, very nice kit. Um, and keep an eye out for any more videos I'll be doing on this American Civil War Perry's range, as I've got a couple more videos, or at least one more video to come out on unboxings. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, end it there. I hope you enjoy the video. Like I said, keep an eye out for any videos I do in the future. Cheers, guys.